In this tutorial, we're going to talk you through purchasing from the shop and managing your pupils. You can register an account and import pupils without purchasing a subscription. These pupils will not have access to the full range of BOFA features, but will appear on your pupil list. If you're logged in as a parent, your list will be called My Children, but the list is essentially the same. You'll see names listed with a button next to it, which tells you whether they are active or not active. If this is your first time using BOFA, they will all be listed as not active. In order to give a pupil full access to all BOFA features, your pupils need to be made active, and this is done by purchasing a subscription. You can do this a few different ways, either by using the shop tab on the menu bar or through the sidebar shortcuts here. Let's go to the shop to see how to buy a subscription. The sliders allow you to buy subscriptions for a certain amount of pupils. If you're buying for a school, subscriptions are yearly. If you're a parent buying for home, you'll be able to choose your subscription length. If the quantity of pupils you would like to purchase for is not shown, then get in touch with us and we'd be happy to share our pricing structure with you. Payment works in the same way as any online payment. Once the payment process is complete, your subscription will be immediately added to your account and you can start activating your pupils. Let's head back to the list of pupils by clicking the My Account button. Let's imagine I purchased a subscription. I can begin to activate my pupils. For smaller numbers of pupils, I can do this by clicking the Activate Now button. However, if you're a school wanting to activate a large number of pupils at once, there's a simpler way to do this. Go to the My Subscription shortcut and you'll be able to see any active and expired subscriptions listed. It will also tell you the number of active pupil spots you've used. As you can see, in this active subscription, I've used 28 of my 32 active pupil spots. To add a larger number of pupils at one time, to add a larger number of pupils at one time, click the Auto Add Pupils button and all your non-active pupil accounts will be made active. For large numbers of pupils, this may take a little time, so be patient. If I go back to the My Pupil page, you'd now see all of your pupils listed as active. To deactivate any pupil, simply click the Active button and choose Remove Now. If you want to deactivate a larger number of pupil accounts, check the accounts here you wish to remove. Go to the drop-down menu and click Remove from Subscription. Confirm and now all those pupils are deactivated.